So the next steps on uh, studies like this would be, I think uh, you could go in many directions. You could look at other drugs and how much residual pain we get to try to compare and say, for my high pain patient, is there a preference of one drug or another? I don't think that would be the way that I would go in next steps. I think next steps would be really for our patients with residual pain, is it still unmet need of disease activity? Should I add something that's safe and could be even uh, more effective as a background to my patients and get them even better? So we wouldn't add like a, a jack kinase inhibitor to a biological, increase cost and increase risk of infection potentially and in something that's not currently done, but we could add more background uh, conventional synthetic DMARDs. So add back in methotrexate at a higher dose, add another conventional synthetic DMARD, inject maybe the worst joints that are still active. Another route to go would be is the residual pain in some of the patients actually no longer related to disease activity and we do see in this study but other studies as well that that can be the case so then we have to say well if people have chronic pain because their joints had been on fire and now the cinders are gone but damage is there then how else can we help them would a topical thing help because a lot is hands or hands and feet would other pain meds that are approved on the market or other exploratory pain meds help our patients so I think that would be the research that would move forward because again our patients uh, can't function with fatigue or can't function because they have uh, malalignment alignments or swollen joints or even deformities and disability that way but some of them can't function as well because of pain if you don't sleep well and you have worse pain you don't get promoted at work you might miss work it, it feeds into fatigue etc so I think we really have to look at pain as an unmet need and what residual pain is there how else can we positively affect the lives of the patients